long divisions are being performed. Now, a long division would not be performed on this one over here, but it, it, it would be on this one over here. And in the hope that you're going to reduce the degree of the numerator by doing that, all right, because the remainder would be linear. So what do you get over here? Well, I did the long division, and I'm hoping you're able to do that yourself. And then I got, let me get the eraser out. Again, the first one I did not long divide. The second one I did, though. And what I got, I'm subtracting it, I got this. And I want to point out, there was a quadratic, and now it's linear on top. Much easier for me, all right? And again, I'm going to claim that a long division would be appropriate on the, on the third term in, this one over here. And the main reason being is that if I do a long division, I'll get a linear term on top, all right? So what do you get over there? Well, looking at it, I, again, I did the long division. I hope you can do it too. You get this over here. All right, I'm actually going to perform one of the long divisions for you just to remind you. So let's, let's do the middle term. So it's x squared uh, minus 6x plus 8, and I'm dividing it into x squared minus 3, all right? So what do you do? Let's take a look at that. Um, I would say you multiply by by 1, right? And what do you get there? You would get x squared. Well, that's a match. That's good news. Then you get minus 6x plus 8. And then I subtract, and you get the remainder. The remainder is going to be 6x. And let's see, minus 3 minus 8 is minus 11. So this would turn out, and let me write that down for you, x squared minus 3 over x squared minus 6x plus 8 actually gives you 1 plus 6x minus 11 over x squared minus 6x plus 8. But what am I doing with it? I'm subtracting it. And that's why I wrote, let me get the eraser out. I want to point out what we did. We're just doing this over here. We found it, and we need to subtract it. So that's why I said minus 1 minus this over here. Right. The whole point of this, though, and I really mean that, is in hope that this thing's going to become easier by doing that. Right. Now, if it doesn't, you know, maybe I wasted my time doing it, but it, it wasn't that expensive to do. All right. What do I notice about this now? I'm seeing that minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Add 2 to both sides, they disappear. All right. And that's really good news, by the way. So the next thing I did was um, I rewrote it. And I want to point out, by rewriting it, you know, I, I keep this on the side alone, and these guys over here, you know, the negative sign in front of it, I put them on one side. So I, I'd add them to both sides, so to speak. All right? I hope you get the idea what I'm talking about over here. And if you did that, although it, it might look like I switched things around on you, equations are reflective, so left and right really has no meaning. So I'm going to say th this, this really is the right side if I did that addition and this would remain to be the left side. But, you know, I reflective. I reflected it around. All right? So I, I feel comfortable with that. Then the big question becomes, what, what do you do with that? All right? And my claim over here is that I'm kind of looking at it, and it's certainly easier than what was in the beginning. All right? It was certainly easier. It, it, it's reduced by one term already. And the, 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 all, every single numerator now is linear, which is much easier. If you look over here, well, this is linear, but that's quadratic, that's quadratic, all right? Now I got linear, 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 and I don't have the constant anymore. So what do I do? Multiply both sides by the LCD. So let me write the LCD down, looking at it, and the LCD, I'll write this down for you, whoops, is, let's see, let's take a look at this, x plus 3, I've got to highlight that for you. Uh, I'm going to put down x minus 2. I'm going to highlight that for you. And there's another factor, which is x minus 4. I'm going to highlight that for you. Let's multiply. So I want to point out in the first term, let me erase this highlighting. In the first term, I definitely get 6x minus 11 in it. The x minus 2, x minus uh, 4 would cancel off and you'd be left with x plus 3. Now, the next term, I definitely get x plus 14 in it, but x plus 3 cancels, x minus 4 cancels, and I'm left with x minus 2. 
Now on the right side, I am definitely left with 7x plus 10. x plus 3 cancels, x minus 2 cancels, so x minus 4 remains. Now I got to do um, some simplifications. The right side is fairly easy to do, all right? So let, let's just look at that. I think it's fairly easy to write that down. That's 7x squared minus 28 plus 10 is minus 18 and minus 40. Easy. Let's do the left side, a little more complicated. You get 6x squared. And then you get what? 18 minus 11, which is 7x. Again, 6x times x is 6x squared. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 11 is 7x. Then you get minus 33. What do you get next? You get x squared. And then you get minus 2x and 14x, which is 12x. And then you get minus 28. Well, if you add that together, which we're supposed to do, what are you going to get? You're going to get 7x squared. 7 and 12 is 19x. And minus 33 and 28 is minus 61. What's nice about this? If you subtract x squared from both sides, they're gone. No longer quadratic. It's linear now. And what I would do is I would add 18x to both sides. And that's going to give you 37x. And I'd add 61 to both sides, which would give you 21. Then I would divide both sides by 37. And you get 21 over 37. All right? Now, someone's going to say, could you check with the original problem? I could. What I'm really concerned about, is it a dangerous number? And it's not. The dangerous numbers would be minus 3 would be dangerous, 2 would be dangerous, and 4 would be dangerous. There's no other dangerous number. So this is not a dangerous number. Again, did I check it? No. Could you check it? Of course you could. Thank you.